folks, there's a question I get asked quite a bit on the channel and I thought it was worth a video, and that is, is the copper in liquid fertilizers safe for shrimp and invertebrates? The answer to that question coming up right now. While we're gonna talk mostly about shrimp in this video, just know that everything we discuss is also applicable to invertebrates in your tank, such as nearite snails, but the question of whether the copper in liquid fertilizers is safe for shrimp or inverts is a completely valid question and an understandable concern. As a general rule, copper is toxic to fish, shrimp, and invertebrates, as well as parasites, and it's long been used in aquarium medications to kill certain parasites. Now, these are parasites such as ick, velvet, or anchorworm. Here's an example from Fritz Mardell Copper Safe. Copper is used in a lot of medications to treat parasites. Now it's formulated to kill them, but to be less toxic to what they call non-targeted organisms, and they're really just talking about our fish. But let's look at the ingredients in a copper-based medication. Turning this Mardell Copper Safe around, we can see it's using 2.2% chelated copper sulfate. Now 2.2% is a good amount of copper in this medication. Now the word chelated, chelated just means that copper is combined with other compounds to keep it active in the water longer. It keeps the copper more stable and a little less toxic to our fish. Now we do want that medication active longer. We can only get rid of some of these parasites when they are in their free swimming stage. We don't know when that is, so the longer the copper is in the tank, the better. Now this of course makes it extremely toxic for shrimp or inverts, and though medication's a last resort anytime you use copper or any medication, I'd recommend that you remove your shrimp and inverts from the tank. Now as a comparison, let's look at our aquarium fertilizers. Now I'm gonna use Seachem Flourish Comprehensive and Nylock G's Thrive C in this example. Many of the fertilizers on the market have similar ingredients, but yes, they do have copper in them. Copper is beneficial to our plants. That being said, I plug to Nylock G because their Nylock G Thrive C is currently my favorite liquid fertilizer on the market. Just a quick mention there. Let's turn these around and look at it. Flourish Comprehensive on the left-hand side and Nylock G's Thrive C on the right-hand side. How much copper are they actually using? Well, you can see with both of these, they're using one ten-thousandth of a percent of water-soluble copper, as opposed to 2.2% chelated copper in the copper-based medication. Now, water soluble is important. It means it's easily dissolved in water and it's usually absorbed by the plants in 24 hours, so it's not in the tank that long. But these fertilizers use such a small amount of copper, one ten thousandth of a percent, it's not enough to do any harm to your shrimp or inverts. It makes it perfectly safe as long as you follow dosing instructions. Of course, if we poured a whole bottle in our tank, we'd have a big problem. So when we look at the comparison between liquid fertilizers and copper-based meds, liquid fertilizers use one ten thousandth a percent of water-soluble copper, very, very small amount, while the meds use 2.2% chelated copper. It makes the liquid fertilizers perfectly safe for our shrimp and inverts, but the copper-based meds very, very toxic. That being said, there are still a lot of hobbyists that have very sensitive shrimp, or simply don't want copper in their fertilizer at all. Well, there is a solution from the good folks at Nylock G. They have created and released a new fertilizer called their Thrive S. This is shrimp specific liquid fertilizer. I'm on their website, nylockg.com. Visit the liquid fertilizer section and you'll see it right there. This is a liquid fertilizer that does not use any copper at all. So if you have dwarf shrimp or very sensitive shrimp, here is a solution for you to take care of your plants, but you won't have any copper at all in the liquid fertilizer. A great product. Visit NylockG.com. But copper isn't all bad. In fact, zero copper is bad for your shrimp. Shrimp actually need a small amount of copper. While humans use hemoglobin, shrimp use copper to carry oxygen to their blood. Copper is very important to them for blood regeneration, and this is why you're going to find copper in most commercial shrimp foods on the market. Here's an example. From the good folks at Hikari, this is their shrimp cuisine, which I do like very much for shrimp, but if we flip this around and look at the ingredients in the food, of course we are gonna find copper. And you're gonna find this in most commercial shrimp foods. Again, copper is very important to shrimp in order for them to carry oxygen to their blood, very important for blood regeneration. So you will find this in most shrimp foods. 
To wrap up, the copper and liquid fertilizers are perfectly safe. It is a very, very tiny amount and it is water soluble, so it only is active for about 24 hours before it's absorbed. Just make sure not to overdose, but if you're still nervous, use Thrive S from Nylock G for very sensitive shrimp, or if you just don't want copper in your fur at all. Watch your back, what? buddy. Who's that? Who's your dog? I told you to watch your back. They're getting ready to breed. Be careful. I get it. Come on, feed us, food man. Okay, I get it. Please. Come all right. On, no more video. The video's almost over. So folks, I hope that video was helpful. Just know that the copper in liquid fertilizers are not enough to be toxic to our shrimp or our invertebrates if dosed properly per the instructions. But if you're nervous, you always have Nylock G's Thrive S. Please like, comment, subscribe for future content. And as always, thanks for watching.